day everyone welcome back again to the channel we're back on GT Sport and we're back with a different video today it's with regards to the secret keyboard controls that I've recently found out about and um, some people may already be aware of this obviously but there are a lot of people out there that I don't think are aware of the the ability that you can do with the keyboard so first up when you go into the game you're gonna notice if you go into the replay settings there's an option to turn the keyboard on when you're broadcasting now this does open up even more um, controls that we'll t I'll leave in, in a video to describe what they do but it doesn't mention that they work within the replay section but a limited amount of these controls still work from your saved replays from your online races and another thing I'm not sure if you can actually connect the keyboard while you're playing the game and some of them may work in terms of um, turning the player tags off I'm not sure it's something that I will need to try out and maybe do in another video if it does work but we'll do that at a future date anyway getting on to this video you can see now we've got the keyboard on the bottom screen there and there is an option from your replay this is a load up replay from a stream that we done a while ago and um, you can check the stream out on my channel and um, it was driving the Porsche 911 RS out in Nürburgring and you can see there we have took the player tags off with the F1 key put them back on with F4 off with F1 etc so you can keep messing around with that and there are many other control functions that you can do from your keyboard that will work within the um, replay that you're watching from your saved replay um, we're going to go through some of them as we drive so I'll quickly mention um, the different ones um, as the video is being played now so you can see we've got all the name tags off the replay now which makes it look so much cleaner I am not a fan of having names above cars etc I want my replays to look clean and, and just more realistic so you can see there we've managed to remove them if you want to add them yeah I'm, I'll show you during this race um, it's a long race it's an 11 lap race and um, we started on pole it was a top split race um, race the guy behind us is TX3 um, they roan I think it is and there's a lot of other fast guys in this race you can see we managed to get pole with a re really nice lap in um, qualifying and you can see there I'm, I'm able to also change the views without using the controller without bringing up that messy bar on the bottom that makes it look so distracting you can do that simply by just pressing some simple commands on the keyboard so obviously these are basic ones there you've got G on your keyboard which will bring up is the variable camera H is the standard camera type so these are the ones where you'd have to go through to the menu if you had the controller and change them um, with the control pad but now you can do it without even bringing up any of the messy um, HUD on the bottom you can just do it cleanly from the keyboard also you can go on J is the bumper view K is the hood or roof of view and L is the chase camera and also as you can see there I'm changing cars you can go all the way through the field up to 20th place that as far as I know there is not a way to get from 20th to 24th if you've got 24 cars in the grid but this is simply done through 1 through to 9 and 0 so 1 being first place etc 2 being second 3rd being 3rd all the way up to 9th and then 0 is 10 and then if you want to go from 11 to um, 20th place it's very simple you just go from Q which is 11th on your keyboard W being um, 12 E being um, 13th etc and working along in the line until you get to P which is 20th place and this just makes everything so much better when you're watching your replays and um, it's gonna be so much easier as well in terms of if I want to um, do show my footage on screen um, when I'm doing my race and then I want for the top right hand corner of the replay camera to show some other angles of the race and mix it about so you guys can get a different imp impression on the race and it's going to be great for people um, doing replay um, montages and stuff like that it's just so much easier work as you can see there we've gone behind our car looking from the um, chase camera and it's without bringing up any information on the screen you don't see any of the messy HUD on the bottom that just really doesn't look nice when you want it uploaded to YouTube and obviously these functions work with other functions as well for when you're broad when you're um, in a race and you're not racing and you want to um, be the broadcaster and obviously move around the race and see the different positions there are other functions as well <coughs> that are really re very nice functions you can um, press I think it's pressing Z sets a replay time so you it will set the replay um, marker and then X C and V are varying times from when it will it will go before that point. So if you were say broadcasting a race, you weren't actually racing, and you press a Z button, you see the, you've seen an incident happen, and you want to go back 18 seconds, you simply just press V, and it will start 18 seconds before that point. Or um, if you want to go a little bit shorter, say 13 seconds, you simply press C, and then eight seconds is X. 
it's just so, such a simple functionality, but such a good one if you're if you're a broadcaster, streamer, etc. You're able to um, implement this into your stream and show any instance. If you see a, you know, there's an instant you can see some places drop down in the positions. You simply press Z straight away, go back to your longest, say 18 seconds, and um, you just go back to them cars, and then you can see the instant that happens. It's such a clever little feature that um, I never knew existed. Um, I don't know why it's just hidden away in the menu like that. Um, it doesn't really describe any any of what you can actually do within the um, menu on the game. Um, and it doesn't even say that it's available in the replay section. But as you can clearly see, we're doing this from an, a replay that's been done in my um, library, lo uh, library. Sorry, not lobby. Um, this was obviously recorded, like I said, I was streamed it. So I didn't have any footage of myself actually driving. So I thought I'd use this race to upload because it was actually a fun race. We managed to get a very good result. And it's good to go back and see some of the battles. You can see there, right at the back of the field, some um, aggressive tapping going on there. And then we're going to go back to ourselves straight away in second place there. Um, changing the camera view you can just mess around with it to your heart's content it's just I, I'm really happy I found this feature out and um, I simply found that out by putting a tweet out that um, I was really annoyed that you couldn't get rid of the um, player tags from each individual car because I find it so messy and not very nice especially when you've got a race going on and you've got some really stupid player names that you know people created when they were probably 10 years old they had no brains and you know they just created the most Pointless um, name attacks, and you know this is one reason why Sony should really hurry up and get rid, um, uh, implement some sort of name changing ability like Xbox and Steam, etc. But you can't do that. Listen, I don't want names being shown above cars. It just looks distracting. It doesn't look very realistic. But now, looking at it now, just look how much cleaner it looks. The only thing I wish you could do would be to remove the borders. Um, I haven't found that way of doing that. I know when you're broadcasting, you don't have to show them them borders. Maybe it's something to do with the replay on the. Um, the cinema view um, it may not be possible to do I, I couldn't work out any buttons that, that would allow you to do that <clears throat> you want some things you can't do on the replay with the keyboard is when you're broadcasting you can get rid of the um, you can bring up the positions etc of each individual car and you can um, remove the HUD and or have it on or you know show the you know, onboard dash and everything like that of what you know the speed they're doing you can't then buttons will not work within the replay um, they will only work when broadcasting. What we'll do, obviously, I'm going to list all the different button commands that you can do um, uh, when we get later on in, in the end video. We'll, we'll do a full list of everything that, that each button does so you guys can see. But I just wanted to show you this video. You know, it was an 11 lap race, it was a really enjoyable. You can see how close it was. First, second, third, and fourth, um, very close indeed. You've got second place is the guy who, if you go back to my the drive, the drive in the Lamborghini Hurricane there, is the guy that if you go back to my, I think it was the Aston, the Aston Martin at Monza, it was the guy that won that race. Um, I think it, oh no, he didn't win the race. He, he actually had a bad race, but he was he, he was pretty much winning every race that he was in, apart from the, the one that I showed. I think he was doing really well. He's a really fast driver. You can see him up ahead. And um, the guy that we're on board with now um, is IRT Nisman or something like that. I think oh no, it's not. It's Dayron. That was Dayron in third place. There you can see in the orange car. In fourth is IRT Nisman. All very fast drivers. And you can just see how much better it looks now that you can just go straight onto these views. Follow myself, look, put name tags on if I want it on and off. And um, by a simple press, press of F4 and then back off with F1. So you can see that's me in the lead there. And then um, we're on board with, um, it, I think it was Zed Skip or Zed Kip or something like that. His name is a very fast driver. And it's just really nice to be able to do these instant changes of the views. Um, it's going to be able to... It, it, could make some really interesting races that look fairly realistic as well because you're going to be able to skip to different positions from first to 15th etc it's such a simple thing just pressing three on the keyboard you go to third you press um q on the keyboard you go to 11th etc and all the way to p which is 20th and it's actually fairly easy as well to get used to doing like um the j the bump of the, the j l and g h all change the different views um once it's very it, obviously it's a little bit limited in terms of your library replays but obviously for the broadcasters it's going to be in more in depth and there's a lot more features but it's a feature that I don't know isn't um, more widely known um, I, I, a lot of people obviously are aware of it now probably but I don't think everyone is and that's why I wanted to do this video because I wanted everyone to know about this feature because if you like me I do not like name tags above cars I mean that you can show them bring them on during the replay just to show everyone who's driving what etc but I do prefer to just um, 
keep it clean and more realistic looking. As you can see there, Dayro must have made a mistake, and it's a shame that um, obviously you can't do the replay feature within the replays, and that's probably why, because you're already in the replay, so it can't do that feature. But if you're broadcasting, we could go and see where that mistake happened by quickly pressing Z as soon as we had noticed the drop positions, and then we'd go back as far as um, the 18 second button, which would then bring up um, the incident of what happened. Um, really nice feature in the game. And um, I don't know why, it really baffles me why they haven't um, let people know that this option is there. Unless there is some bugs within the keyboard function still uh, that are not fully gone. Because I know that there is some when broadcasting, it can freeze the, the, the game slightly and um, cause some issues. But I didn't encounter anything from the replay, no issues at all. I tested every single button on the um, keyboard <clears throat> just to see what any did. Didn't come up with anything new, obviously, but. Um, the only thing that you can do also obviously is you can start the replay with the enter button and the arrows keys left and right um, control the menu that you can't actually see that you would be using with your controller so you can um, kind of do some things with that but um, it's just easier just to use the keyboard I find and just change the views like I'm doing now going through to the variable the standard cameras etc so getting back to the action now, we'll do some commentary over the action as you can see there. IRT and this man looking to make a move on um, Z Skip, I think it or Z Kip, I can't remember his name, but exactly we'll check that out when we bring up the name tags again. Um, but he didn't pull that move off, he backed out of it. Um, would have been a risky move, but you know, it was very close at the front here, you can see. Um, just in front of the, there is they're going in the pits. All three of us went in the pits at the same at the same point. You can see, I think one guy decided to stay out the pits. Um, this is the only issue I found with within the positions on the um, keyboard. Is um, I couldn't get to first. That I couldn't find myself because every time I was going to first, it was going to this guy. Um, even though we were still in the lead in the pits, it, it classes this guy in the lead. So we eventually caught back up to ourselves um, in a second, as you can see there. He's going through the first corner. He didn't pit on that lap, so he took the lead. There's ourselves coming out of the pit, still in first place. We've got still the same positions. It's stalemate in terms of positions. No changes there. Um, I did struggle coming out of the pit, so if you watch the stream, you would have seen uh, I had a little loss of concentration for a few laps, and we started slowing down. But as you can see there, joining the battle further down the grid. I think this was um, the battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth, as you can see there, going side by side with the Dodge Viper and the BMW M6. And you've got um, the Porsche 911 also in that battle. Some great battling going on here now. And it's something that I wouldn't have been able to see in the past. And it's just so good to be able to look at these battles now while I'll still be able to show my my main view of in car so we'll be doing a lot more of this as it goes on in future videos you can see they try to make the move on the inside and it, they're battling side by side now down this little straight before the tight right hander at the Nürburgring GP and you've got and it looks like the Porsche is going to get in on this action as he goes to the side that's IRT Ioza Zag 59 and um, I can't fully read Oscaro Sky something guy can't uh, Sky Pikmin so there's the drivers that are on there we brought it up quickly with the um, quick press of the F4 button brings it up and you've got all the name tags there to see who's involved with the battle such a good feature you can get rid of it as soon as you want so you don't need to see any more of that um, unsightly names above the cars I really I'm hoping but I don't think it will is that I'm hoping this will work when you're playing the game and you can get rid of the name tags <coughs> I would like to do that whether it will allow it we'll, we'll see in the, when we come to doing it <clears throat> obviously if it does do it I'll um, let you guys know in a video you'll see it when I upload my next GT Sport race which will hopefully be soon um, <clears throat> obviously we've been very busy with a lot of other uploads recently um, Project Cars 2 have had DLC etc and obviously with this video that I really wanted to give you guys because um, also I could show off this race it was a really fun race to be involved with as you can see there now Z, Z Kip is right on the back side of my car this is what I was talking about coming out the pit we lost a lot of time and um, just took my time to get back into the rhythm I don't, I don't know what it was because I was streaming as well trying to read the chat and obviously trying to um, concentrate on the race and check if anyone was writing anything I was getting messages obviously as well that were being um, put out in speech so it, it does distract you sometimes and it just took me a little bit of time to get back into it. As you can see he nearly lost the back end there. He had a massive moment. You can see how close this battle for first place is. I didn't feel the need to go defensive there. He had a little look at the inside but he's a very clean driver. I'll say this about this guy. He raced nothing but fair every time I've raced him. And he had a little look and just backed out of that move. And you can see IRT having a look on the Lamborghini now. IRT this man that is having a look on the Lamborghini Hurricane. Um, 
uh, but he doesn't look like he's going to be able to make a move. That Lamborghini, di Lamborghini did look very fast, but it also looked very tricky to drive when I was watching the replay. He had a few moments coming off the curbs that he looked like he, he had to be very quick on the steering wheel. As you can see now, starting to get a little bit of um, settling down now with my speed. I did drop the speed during these laps, but I did start to settle it down a bit and get back more in the rhythm. And we we're just trying to concentrate on trying to keep this win. Um, obviously, it's not the easiest thing when you were streaming to obviously keep speed. Um, it's something I'm still learning and hopefully getting better at. Um, obviously i can't stream all the time at the moment that will change in the future probably it'll be a while yet but once i can stream more i will be doing that but at the moment um i stream when i can as you can see there we're going to bring the name tags up and then um, just to show you obviously the how how this works this function like you can see we're going straight on board with um, the guy in second place following myself there as i coming out the final corner trying to get a nice clean exit you can see we were really getting a nice exit off that corner which was helping us because the lamborghini hurricane gt3 such a strong car in a straight line as you can see he's gonna have a little look down that inside i'm not gonna go too defensive i've seen that there wasn't really any risk i break into the corner this corner was catching me out i was having to run really wide there i try and get on the power i push him out to the out to the outside of the track as i wanted to give myself the line into that corner give him some space there and then back on the track and we can maintain that lead position um, not using up all the limits of the track trying to keep it tight so that you couldn't go on the inside of me and then again trying to get the power nice and early coming out of that corner there as all three of us there top three separated separated by under a second there going into these last final few laps um, some great racing as you can see and so happy that I, I found this ability out that I can do on the um, keyboard I keep saying it but um, it's probably the best feature that I've found recently because it's one thing that really annoyed me more than anything was the name tags and not and if you wanted to change car you had to bring that little menu up that showed in the bottom left hand corner I, I wasn't a massive fan of that I wanted it to look clean I wanted it to look realistic and now that's what you've got a much more realistic Blanc Mont style experience watching this as you can see there, second and third place getting really close. We actually managed to pull a little bit of air between ourselves and third place there. Um, not massive, but enough to make it a little bit more comfortable. And once you get a bit of more comfortable, I can then start concentrating and start making the lap times a bit better. As you can see there, riding on board there, I've seen how close it was getting. So we've gone on board with third place as he's looking to try and make a move on the Lamborghini. I was really hoping he wouldn't make a move because I had a feeling this the guy I, I are teaming, this man had some really strong pace at this point of the race. So we just tried to settle down and start racing our own racing getting out and you see he had a little look down the outside covered on the inside by the lamborghini not much he could do there he just played it safe really clean driving between us three at the front here now um it's great to see in gt sport that you know this is why i love gt sport in terms of it's online because the longer races the like 10 11 lap races etc generally are cleaner than the short races obviously but it's just not like any other game on console in terms of cleanliness it's to say it's very similar to i racing you know this is the type of racing you get on i racing 90% of the time you still get you know dodgy racing as you do on GT Sport you get the battles that get a little bit too heated but now with the grief reporting also I'm not sure how that will actually work on GT Sport hopefully that will start slow, like lowering down as well and getting closer to high racing as we can see we go further down the grid now to 14th 15th place as Svetel 5 is looking to make a move on the, on 14th place as he throws it up the inside dive bump we went into that action perfectly that was very lucky that we did that but it's stuff like that we wouldn't have we wouldn't have seen that in the past we now see that lovely move going into the um, tight right hander a little bit aggressive but i think it was there to be done as the fry 488 just had no no chance to cover that inside line and um, he left the door open too much he should have really went defensive and tried to make him go the long way around but that's how it worked out and he made up a position there nice little overtake putting s fatal into 14th place and <clears throat> looking to obviously try and make himself getting in as close to himself into the top 12 cars etc although it looks like quite a big space as you can see in 16th place there maris um, i like that livery on that car i'll have to see if i can check that one out um, and then going all the way through the field it looks like we've had two people that have either disconnected or left the race um, as they obviously weren't interested in staying in if they had a really bad start or something but we still got 18 drivers in and that's what i like to see in um, racing games you know if you go into public lobbies on a lot of other games, you're going to come across these races and you find that going through the race, the, the participants tend to drop from like 18 at the start and in three laps you've got 12 and then by the last few laps you've got like six drivers, not in GT Sport. You find that people stay in because they've got their rating system to keep up. As you can see ourselves in first place, still in the lead. Going, I think this might be coming up to close to the final lap, I'm not too sure but it's getting there. 
it's getting close to the final few laps <coughs> it might even be the final lap that's the only thing I wish you could do is the um, HUD button would work on the keyboard just to show you the lap count although we could have brought it up with the control pad if I really wanted to but um, maybe that's something I could look at doing actually is you could probably keep the um, basic HUD with the positions on there in the top left and just leave the name tags off it might be quite useful to do that I might do that in um, future uploads because I'm presuming it will still show that wire going to the keyboard mode um, as I could still use the control pad so that will be something I could do as you can see there we've built up quite a nice comfortable lead here now it's not a massive lead but it's enough just to make sure that no one could make a move on ourselves and um, I think this might be closing on the last lap we'll have a little look as we go over the line you'll, you'll notice as I'll go clean over to the right hand side of the track as we brought the names up very quickly there <coughs> I just wanted to keep messing with it because I was just so so made up you could do this now um, such a little thing to be happy about but um, if you go to like a set of course so you don't have the name tags and stuff like that and it just looks so much better not having the name tags so you can see now really pushing the limit through there we brought up a bit of gravel onto the track <coughs> but the guy in um, second place doesn't look like he's got an answer for us in this race although he did get his own way in other races you know i think he did three or four races in the stream we did fairly consistent in all the races but um in some of the races we made some silly errors and um, you can watch them go back to the previous videos they'll be in there and um, the onboard footage from me driving obviously and streaming but for this this race was really went our way everything went right you can see our IRT Nisman must have had a little bit of an incident with maybe second place um, trying to make a move I'm not sure what would have happened there um, it's probably gone for a move somewhere and just been cut off as you can see they're going through the final corner there accelerating over and pushing going over to the right hand side for the final lap taking the checker flag and that was a nice win for ourselves really enjoyed that race and i hope you guys have enjoyed what i have found on this video that it works in the replay mode as well as the broadcasting mode and you guys can start putting out some videos as well obviously that the people that do it and also it's just nicer to i think it's just much better to watch these replays especially if you're doing short clips or, or something like that it's better to watch them with no names above there so you can see i brought the names up just for the end just to see the positions everyone finished all the way down through to last place anyway guys if you've enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to make sure you click that notification button so you do not miss any of my videos I do daily videos on many different games and we also do the track guides, we do the guides for setups on Project Cars 2 and a set of Corsa and we do many race videos. Thanks again for watching and we'll be back very soon with more videos.